All right, here we go. Now we've got a problem with radicals on both sides. And we kind of freak out when we see these because what the heck do we do? But the nice thing is, is that the index is the same for both radicals. And that, ra uh, that index would be 2. It's just not showing. And uh, if we just square these, both of them, then our radicals go away. So let's go ahead and square them. Again, it takes away our radicals. We get 6x plus 1 equals 5x plus 8. And when we solve this, I want the x's on one side of the equal sign, all the numbers on the other side. I'm choosing to put the x's on the left because it will give me a positive coefficient of x. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. So when does it have to equal? All right. So, and then I would also subtract 1 from both sides. Uh, this will give the x's their own side of the equal sign. And 6 minus 5x is just a 1x. Of course, we don't really need the 1 there. We can make it a phantom 1. And over here, we've got uh, 5x minus 5x. That became a 0. But we do have that 8 minus 1, which would be 7. So, now that we have this, all we need to do is go in and check so I'd have the square root of 6x, so 6 times 7, plus 1. This should equal the square root of 5 times x, but x is 7, and of course plus 8. So if we just looked at this, 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 is 43. Uh, does this equal the square root 5 times 7 is 35, plus 8? 43. Uh, that'll give you an, an irrational number, but we can see that it's the same square root for both of them. Therefore, it is true, and we're good.